Hello there. I am Max the Ant with Little Academy TV. In this lesson, we will learn how to group different objects by color, shape, and size. Let's see. See the different objects popping up on the screen? And here are two baskets. One has an orange ribbon and the other has a blue ribbon. Let's put the orange objects into the first basket and the blue objects into the second basket. Let's start with the orange. What color is it? Yes, it's orange. Let's put it in the basket with the orange ribbon. And now the ball. What color is it? Yes, it's blue. Let's put it in the basket with the blue ribbon. What color is the picture? It's orange. Let's put it in the orange basket. Now the bun. Where should we put it? It's orange. So let's also put it in the orange basket. What about the pillow? It's blue. Where should we put it? That's right, into the blue basket. The window is blue, so it also goes into the blue basket. The button is also blue, so where should it go? Yes, into the blue basket again. And where should the carpet go? It's orange, so it should go into the orange basket. The handkerchief is blue, so where should we put it? That's right, into the blue basket. And the last one is the orange ball of yarn. Where should we put it? Of course, into the orange basket. Great job! We have put our objects into two baskets. Let's see what we have. In this group, all the objects are orange. And in this group, all the objects are blue. Excellent. And now let's sort the same objects a little differently. In this basket, we will put round objects. And in this basket, we will put square objects. Let's start with the orange again. What shape is it? That's right, the orange is round. Let's put it into the basket with a circle. And now the ball. What shape is it? Yes, it's round as well. So let's put it into the basket with a circle. What shape is the picture? Great job, the picture is square. Let's put it into the basket with a square. What shape is the bun? It's round. So where should we put it? That's right, into the basket with a circle. What about the pillow? The pillow is square. So where is it going? Yes, into the basket with a square. What shape is the window? The window is square. Where should it go? Again, into the basket with a square. And the button? It's round, so it goes into the basket with a circle. The carpet is square, so it goes into the basket with a square. The handkerchief is also square, so it should go into the basket with a square. And the last one is the ball of yarn. What shape is it? It's round, so where should we put it? That's right, into the basket with a circle. Great job! Let's see what we have this time. In this group, all the objects are round. And in this group, all the objects are square. Great! And now let's sort these objects by size. Let's put the large objects into the first basket and the small objects into the second basket. Orange, is it large or small? Correct, it's small. Let's put it into the small basket. What size is the ball? Yes, the ball is large. So let's put it into the large basket. Is the picture large or small? The picture is small. So let's put it into the small basket. And now the bun. It's also small. So what basket does it go into? That's right, into the small basket. The pillow is large. 
So where is it going? Yes, into the big basket. The window is also large, so it goes into the big basket as well. The button is small, so where should it go? That's right, into the small basket. The carpet is large, so we put into the big basket. And the handkerchief is small, so it goes into the small basket. And last is the ball of yarn. Is it large or small? Yes, it's large. So where should it go? Yes, into the big basket. Very good. Let's see what we have now. In this group, all the objects are large. And in this group, all the objects are small. Have you noticed how objects were put into different groups? At first, we put orange objects into one group and the blue objects into another. Then, we put the round objects into one group and the square objects into a different group. And at last, large objects into one group and small objects into another. And now let's make it a little harder. Look. Now there are more objects and three baskets on the screen. Let's put red objects into the red basket, yellow objects into the yellow basket, and purple objects into the purple basket. Let's start with the fan. The fan is yellow. Let's put it into the yellow basket. A slice of watermelon is red. Let's put it into the red basket. The bucket is purple. Let's put it into the purple basket. The fish is purple. It also goes there. The top is red. A slice of lemon is yellow. The boat is purple. The ladybug is red. The kite is purple. The earring is red. The road sign is yellow. The cup is red. The skirt is purple. The lamp is yellow. The bag is also yellow. Great job! Let's see what we have. In this group, all the objects are red. In this group, all the objects are yellow. And in this group, all the objects are purple. Excellent. Now let's sort these objects by their shape. Let's put the object shaped like a semicircle into the first basket. The object shaped like a rhombus into the second basket. And the object shaped like a trapezoid into the third basket. What shape is the fan? Yes, it's a semicircle. Let's put it into the basket with a semicircle. The slice of watermelon also looks like a semicircle. The bucket looks like a trapezoid. The fish has the shape of a rhombus. The top also looks like a rhombus. The slice of a lemon is shaped like a semicircle. The boat is also a semicircle. The ladybug also looks like a semicircle. The kite is shaped like a rhombus. The earring also looks like a rhombus. The road sign is also a rhombus. The cup looks like a trapezoid. The skirt also looks like a trapezoid. The lamp is also shaped like a trapezoid. And finally, the bag is also a trapezoid. Great! Let's look at our groups. In this group, all the objects are shaped like a semicircle. In this group, all the objects look like a rhombus. And in this group, all the objects look like a trapezoid. Okay, now let's sort these objects by size. Let's put the large objects into this basket. Let's put medium-sized objects into this one and the small objects into the small basket. What size is the fan? It's medium-sized. Let's put it into the middle basket. The slice of watermelon is also medium-sized. Let's put it into the same basket. And the bucket is large. Let's put it into the big basket. The fish is small. The top is medium. 
The slice of lemon is small. The boat is large. The ladybug is small. The kite is large. The earring is small. The road sign is large. The cup is small. The skirt is large. The lamp is medium. And the bag is also medium. Great! Let's see what we have this time. In this group, all the objects are large. In this group, all the objects are medium. And in this group, all the objects are small. And again, note how objects were put into different groups. At first, we put the objects either into the red group, the yellow group, or the purple group. Then, we put the same objects either into a group with semicircles, rhombuses, or trapezoids. And finally, large objects into the first group, medium objects into the second group, and small objects into the third group. Now, let's make it even harder. Now we have four baskets and even more objects. Let's put green objects into the basket with a green ribbon, pink objects into the basket with a pink ribbon, blue objects into the basket with a blue ribbon, and the brown objects into the basket with a brown ribbon. So, let's start with the color green. Let's find all green objects and put them into the green basket. Here is a green fir tree. It goes into the green basket. What else is green? A cactus is green. It goes into the green basket too. What else is green? Here is a green balloon. What else is green? The train car is green. And here is a green flag. Are there any other green objects? No, there is no more green. Now, let's find pink objects and put them into the basket with the pink ribbon. Here is a pink starfish. Let's put it into the pink basket. What else is pink here? Here is a pink magic wand. It also goes into the pink basket. What else is pink? The box is pink. Here is a pink party hat. And here is a pink bag. Is there anything else pink here? No, there are no more pink objects. Now, let's find blue objects and put them into the blue basket. Here is a blue plum. Let's put it into the blue basket. And here is a blue backpack. It also goes into the blue basket. What else is blue here? Here is a blue balloon. And here is a blue ruler. Let's keep looking. And here is a blue stacker. Do we have any more blue objects? No, there are no more blue objects. Now, we only have brown objects left. Let's put them all into the basket with the brown ribbon. A brown cookie. Then a brown tent. A brown reed. Brown chocolate. And a brown door. Great job! Let's see what we have now. In this group, all the objects are green. In this group, all the objects are pink. In this group, all the objects are blue. And in this group, all the objects are brown. Now let's group the same objects by their shape. Let's put the object shaped like a triangle into the first basket. The object shaped like an oval into the second basket. The object shaped like a rectangle into the third basket and the object shaped like a star into the fourth basket. So let's start with the objects shaped like a triangle. Which of these objects look like a triangle? A fir tree looks like a triangle. Let's put it into the basket with a triangle. What else looks like a triangle? The tent is shaped like a triangle. It also goes into the basket with a triangle. What else? The flag looks like a triangle. 
The stacker is shaped like a triangle. As well as the party hat. Are there any other objects shaped like a triangle? No, there are no more triangles. Now, let's find the object shaped like an oval. The plum is shaped like an oval. Let's put it into the basket with an oval. What else looks like an oval? The reed has an oval shape. Let's put it into the basket with an oval. The balloon has an oval shape. What else looks like an oval? The cactus looks like an oval. The box is shaped like an oval. Is there anything else that looks like an oval? No, there are no more ovals. Now, let's find the object shaped like a rectangle and put them into the basket with a rectangle. The bag looks like a rectangle. Let's put it into the basket with a rectangle. What else looks like a rectangle? Chocolate has a rectangular shape. Let's also put it into the basket with a rectangle. What else looks like a rectangle? The ruler is shaped like a rectangle. Let's keep looking. A train car is also shaped like a rectangle. And the door is also a rectangle. Are there any more rectangular objects? No, there are no more rectangles here. Now we only have objects shaped like stars. Let's put them into the basket with a star. So the cookie is shaped like a star. The starfish is also shaped like a star. The backpack also looks like a star. The magic wand is shaped like a star. And the balloon looks like a star. Now let's see what we have this time. In the first group, all objects are shaped like triangles. In the second group, all objects are shaped like ovals. In the third group, all objects are shaped like rectangles. And in the fourth group, all the objects are shaped like stars. Okay, now let's sort the same objects by size. Let's put large objects in a big basket. Let's put the smaller objects into a smaller basket. Let's put even smaller objects into an even smaller basket. And the smallest objects will go into the smallest basket. Let's start with large objects. Which objects are the largest here? The fir tree is large. Let's put it into the big basket. The backpack is also large. Let's also put it into the big basket. What else here is large? The balloon is large. The train car is large. And the door is large. Great. Now let's find the smaller objects. The bag is smaller. Let's put it into a smaller basket. The starfish is also smaller. What else? The tent is smaller. What other objects? The cactus is smaller. And the party hat goes into a smaller basket as well. Now let's find even smaller objects. The reed is even smaller. Let's put it into an even smaller basket. What else? Chocolate is even smaller. Then the magic wand. The stacker is even smaller. And the balloon. Now we have the smallest objects left. Let's put them into the smallest basket. Now which objects are the smallest? The cookie. The plum. The ruler. The flag and the box. Great. Now let's see what we have this time. In the first group, all the objects are the largest. In the second group, all the objects are smaller. In the third group, all the objects are even smaller. And in the fourth group, all the objects are the smallest. Again, let's see how objects were put into different groups. At first, the object went into either a green group, a pink group, a blue group, or a brown group. 
Then, we put the same objects into a group with either triangles, ovals, rectangles, or stars. And finally, large objects into the first group, smaller objects into the second group, even smaller objects into the third group, and the smallest objects into the fourth group. Great job! Now you know how to sort objects into groups. At home, by yourself, or with your parents, look at the objects around you and try to sort them by colors, shapes, and sizes. This has been Max the Ant with Little Academy TV. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like, and see you again soon.